Well, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Speed Sim. My name is Andre. I'm E House. Welcome and back. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking to you just about a specific kind of pistol platform, and that is the 1911 slash High Kappa series. Mostly High Kappa. Mostly because... High Kappa, but the 1911 can sort of fit into this. But we'll get into why I think the High Kappa is in many ways superior as we go. Right. All right. So. Andre is the expert on this one, so I'm going to let him start. Okay. <laughs> so, depending on what model or brand you buy, whether it be Armor Works, WE Tech, all those, those two are the same thing, although they want to admit it, and KJW, they're great platforms, regardless of which ones you buy, TM, like I said. You can buy either one of those, and you'll be fine. I mean, the parts are there. Uh, Compatibility-wise, between the three, WeTech, Armor Works, and KJW is pretty good. TM and WeTech are not really mixable on certain parts, but again, you can fit a lot of the parts, vice versa, like in Bodie Nelson and Dad Junk, you can fit. But for the most part, the parts compatibility is fantastic. Yeah, well, I mean, I think KJW and TM are generally the most interchangeable, yes. even though there's still a couple things there's, that get wonky and require fitting. a couple fitting. things that... Um, but, like, WE and Armor Works kind of have their own thing on a couple of areas, but... Which be, but they're made by the same company. <laughs> yeah, but they're, but they have their own kind of thing in a yeah. couple parts, but WE, in general, is pretty good at flooding their dealers with oh, OEM yeah. parts, so... Yeah. As long as but you don't want to you don't have go... to look very far. If no, you, no, 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 if, no. You, if you're looking specifically for OEM parts, you don't have to look very far. But if you're looking for a little bit more obscure parts, you can find them for the WeTech. It's yeah, they're because the I mean the factories probably just change like one process in their tooling yeah. and call it a day. And then the, the amount of 3D printing out there is ridiculous. You can buy anything for the Oh yeah, campus. totally. So and then if you get a TM high cap up, <laughs> you're, you're you're good right out the gate because you literally can do anything to them. And that's all the bases that I. Do all my platforms on this TM, whether it be uh, MMP9s or uh, XDM40s, they have a plethora of parts. So everything fits them. Yes. So well, the, well, everything TM spec. All well, right, but and when you get kind of on the walkie side, like if you buy a VFC MMP9, it's not going to fit, and that's the worst because the parts are not there, and you can't fit the TM into the VFC. So that's the arbitrary. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the high cap. I mean, that's the number one point. Is we were making this analogy right before the video started. This is an analogy Andre makes a lot. It's kind of the M4 of pistols. It really is you because can do there's just so much you can anything do. to it. You can keep it as simple as something like this, or as crazy as something like this, and you can virtually do whatever color you want. You can keep it orange. Or you can do a silver uh, black two tone, or you can make it pink or blue or whatever. You can do the black and gold like I did on mine. Which I'll put most a, people do anyways. Yeah, I'll put a picture. A lot of people do black and gold. Yeah, well, black and gold's cool. I, I actually hated it initially. I didn't like it until I put the new slide on there. black and gold, though. A lot of people do it. It's not my thing. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like it because it's... Regardless. Point is, you can do whatever you want. Right. It's, but that's just external parts. Mm -hmm. Internal parts... Oof. I mean... On, the, on that subject, if you're gonna want to upgrade your high kappa, the base pistol that I would suggest is Tokyo Rui. Yeah. If you want pure performance, that's all you're looking for, go with the TM. The problem with the WeTech armor works and the KJW stuff is that if like the uh, blowback unit goes and you want to put something a little bit more lighter weight that has a little bit more compression, that has a little bit of more efficiency, they won't fit in the stock slides that they come with. Unlike mm -hmm. TM, with the stock slides, you can just uh, swap them out, no problem, because they fit universally. Again, made by a bunch of different uh, companies, uh, Nova. Uh, you got UAC, which are really dominating the uh, upgrade market right yeah, now. UAC They're really, really good. good. So that's usually what I buy as far as uh, blowback units go because they're always available and you can sort of find some of the other ones. And AIP makes a, a bunch of other stuff, 5KU, depending on how you feel about those. You, you can buy a bunch of different parts for them and they're always available. Yeah, that's the thing is the internal parts, like we said, Tokyo Marui kind of fits everything. Yeah. I would say the role of the Armor Works, WE, and KJW high cap is, is more guys who want to buy them just that they'll work yep. and they don't have to really, they don't, well, not that they don't have to, and they don't mess with them much mm -hmm. other than replacing with OEM parts. Right. We see this with the WE gas blowback rifles. I mean, yeah. half our team runs the WE GBBRs and just keeps throwing OEM parts in them as they break, and yeah. they run great if you do that. Exactly. 
Uh, yeah, that's that's the premise for the armor works. That's what they came out the gate with. Is you can use it right out of the box. It has a great hop up system. It's much. It's a little bit improved on the WeTech stuff. Like as if we tech gave a shit. That's kind of what yeah. we keep calling it. Uh, they yeah, actually Armor care. works as WE if, if we, WE gave a shit. Yeah. So they care <laughs> about it and right out of the box, you can be shooting fine if you don't want to mess with it and you don't have any plans of upgrading it besides like, You can still use like a hop up bucking and barrels. Or barrel and stuff. bucking, yeah. yeah. You can use that no problem. But if you go into like the nitty gritty of like triggers and, and well I mean triggers and are kind of this key works across the board, it's no problem. But like Blowback, blowback units, units and stuff like that. It's uh, you're not gonna fit it. There's a lot of modification that goes into that. Yeah, but the advantage of the lower, lower end, lower cost high cappas yeah. is that you can use green gas in them right, right out of the box. Right out of the box. Unlike Tokyo Rui, you would have to go yeah. to uh, Neupril is just releasing a new gas that yep. is Tokyo Rui. Well, it's uh, basically 134. Right. It's it's a lower end gas, not like cheap, but like it's lower easy, pressure. Lower pressure for your slide, your plastic slides on the TM stock pistols. Or you and, can run HPA tap. Or you can do that as well. Whatever is more cost efficient to you. Most people are probably going to buy the lower end gas or lower pressure gas before they go over to HPA because it is kind of an initial cost unless you already have it. Then. You can just yeah, I mean, if you already it. run a Polar Star or something like that, you already have a tank and a line. Yeah. Buy some CQB Russian valves. I mean, what do they cost as much as a couple tanks of gas? I mean, yeah. Yeah, so cheap it's... Cheap gas, but yeah. Yeah, new pro gas. <laughs> yeah, no, cheap gas, but that's that's the thing. Yeah. So th that's where I, I guess we kind of draw the line is for just grab it and go, WE Armor Works and KJW, generally good. Yep. And then if you want to really trick it out, Tokyo Marui. I mean, you can even make a sleeper if you want. You can leave the plastic slide and all that jazz on there and you can run the lower pressure gas and no one would notice the difference because it looks like a regular old stock tm although well, i know you are the one that knows it. it's completely tricked on the inside well i know a lot of people actually use the plastic slides because they cycle faster oh yeah because it's lighter weight doesn't need as much gas yep. to operate and it's more efficient cycles mm -hmm. faster it's snappier yeah especially if you short stroke is even faster yeah so i mean there's an argument to be made for keeping the plastic slide yeah i use a metal one because i run it on green gas and i plan on beating the shit out of it so and they don't I mean, aside from 3D printing, although Ken's prop is having a little bit of kind of a business change where he's switching out to a different kind of 3D printing, whatever mess. So he's not making slides so much anymore, but finding the metal slides and colors is super tricky, especially blue. Well, Airsoft Masterpiece has, uh, they have a pretty decent selection if you look around, but... If you're quick enough. That's the thing. They, <laughs> a lot of them are limited quick. runs. A lot of them are kind of hard to find. you uh, got to be very quick. If you're looking yeah. for a specific color, you better buy it right there and then but that's gonna be my recommendation because i actually bought an airsoft masterpiece slide at andre's recommendation and i'm very happy with it all my slides are high airsoft yeah. masterpiece this one as well as this guy they're all airsoft masterpiece yeah airsoft masterpiece um what i liked about it was that i could just drop it on my tokyo marui gold match at least it required no fitting i dropped it in looped it up and it was cycling full magazines immediately no real hiccups or issues. some of you i just want just for that won't for, always be the case for uh being that transparent about this is not always the case because I did have to do a fitment on my purple one and I had to do fitment on this silver one. And you just need a little bit of WD-40. You can do that at your local you know, shop if you're like buying it from there. You can just put a little bit of WD-40. Not a lot. Be really And keep it away very, from very, the hop-up rubber. <laughs> you got to be very, very careful. But you can do it right there and then as soon as you buy the slide if that's what you want to do. I mean, if you take it home, you can be a little bit better about it. But just take it on there and then just kind of rack it, sit there and watch it, you know, whatever Netflix show you're watching, and just kind of rack it, fit it on there. And dun, 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 dun. I haven't watched a lot of Game of Thrones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make a specific recommendation, actually. Uh, if you're going kind of the route I wanted to go, I just wanted to grab a high kappa, put a light and a metal slide on it, and call it a day. Uh, my recommendation for that is going to be the Tokyo Marui Gold Match. Mm -hmm. uh, or, another strong contender, uh, Kyle uses a KJW high cap. Yep. He is the ridiculous accelerator model with like this six, six inch, inch barrel. Yeah. It's nuts, but uh, the KJW high cappas are don't use the CO2 in the KJW high cappas. Don't though. use CO2 regardless of which ones you buy. Even, yeah. even though it says you can use CO2, you're going to break it faster. And then you need to replace parts faster, which means more money. And if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, don't buy the CO2 version. <laughs> and the other problem I want to talk about with CO2 specifically is the magazines. KJW sucks at making CO2 <laughs> magazines. WE Same sucks thing. at making CO2 magazines. I can't think of the last time I had a CO2 magazine that was good 
except from KWC, of all companies. Somehow the OEM company that does all the work and for low cost makes a better CO2 magazine than KJW, WE, and anyone else I've seen. That should be embarrassing, honestly. <laughs> Maybe that'll be a rant later, we'll find out. Now getting into specifically why the High Kappa is a nice handgun to shoot as well as to build, I mean, are you, if you're a 1911 fan, High Kappas are just double stack 1911s. And if you are, you know, if you like 1911s to begin with, then, you know, there's also the Tokyo Marui 1911 series, but... Nighthawks and standard yeah. MEU style. But the issue that you run into with a lot of Airsoft 1911s, especially the single stack ones with double stack BB... So there's what they call a single double stack magazine for 1911s. That's the Tokyo Marui style of magazine. Which is superb. Well... <laughs> For me. <laughs> if you run a plastic slide. The issue with that is that there's not really slide. enough room for gas in the single stack magazine profile to cycle all of the BBs in the double stack BB profile. Yeah. So what you have there is, you're, if, especially if you run a metal slide, you're very rarely going to be able to get a full magazine out of the gun unless you really upgrade it and really baby it and use a full tank of gas every time. It's really frustrating. It's a big problem. It's why I just recommend get a high kappa. It's just a lot less headache. And all the same slides fit on it. Yeah, all the same slides fit on it. It looks very similar, but it's just the grip is a little wider. Which for me, big plus. <laughs> and I like 1911s, you know, for real firearms. Yep. I mean, I like STI style 19 double stack 1911s too, me which too. another bonus is these kind of look STI style. So if you like STI, you like high cappas. Yes. Uh, but with handling, I mean, it feels just like a 1911. I know a lot of people uh, like Glocks and a lot of people like the modern polymer framed handguns. Nothing wrong with that, but largely the translation to Airsoft has not been as kind to polymer framed handguns. No, they have not. Like the Tokyo Marui Glocks are a massive pain to build and they have reliability issues in the trigger groups, which are yes. very well documented and very well known. The uh, M&P is a newer platform yep. so that one doesn't have as many documented problems right yep. now but <laughs> parts are kind of a little tricky to come by in the united states you have to go overseas for them which is i mean for the most part if you buy if you buy the tm m p9 they have uac triggers trigger groups and uh trigger bars and pretty much anything that you need to fix the internal they have it Unless you buy a BFC or something else, then... Well, there's luck. no parts for the BFC. So good, uh, good luck. luck. <laughs> uh, then there's the FNS9 from yep. Cybergun. Also no parts support. So, yeah, the polymer-framed handguns have not had as kind of transition to airsoft, at least in terms of the certain aspects we're talking about with yep. parts support and long-term reliability. Uh, and that's from certain companies. Not from so certain companies. Not all of them. Uh, shop around. And again, it also depends on how you're using your handgun. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you plan on just using your handgun to have it sit in a holster and maybe fire a magazine every game, if you're lucky, yeah. then go with whatever. It doesn't yeah, really matter. Much. If you are trying to play more speed soft style like Andre, and you might use a or high IPSC. kappa. Or Yeah, or IPSC or competition shooting. I was going to bring that up next. Yep. Uh, or if you're like me and you just have high standards and want a super awesome sidearm, then... <laughs> That's where, uh, that's where the high cap has come in. They're kind of the super premium. You can do anything you want to them. There's a million parts. And being a 1911 fan, I find that they just handle really, really well. The other nice part, of course, I'm a trigger snob. High cap is a very nice trigger. Especially mine. So another great advantage of the high cap series, uh, aside from the single stack 1911, is the fact that you have extended magazines. Yes. So if you primarily use pistols, whether you're an indoor player or you just want to be a person that is like playing with a pistol primarily, you can use extended mags that have 50 rounds and you're going to have a little bit better time playing it versus having to reload every single time if you're not a huge fan of reloading. Well, then that's the other thing is there's a huge amount of magazines and actually the magazines are one of the areas where high cap is pretty really much, shine. Yeah, the WE mags fit the Tokyo Marui's. Yep. The Tokyo Marui mags fit the WEs. Yep. The KJW and WE mags fit. They each all other. fit. They all fit each other. Yeah. So that's actually kind of where the high cap of market's cool is you can buy whatever you want. Prowin makes magazines, which are super good. I love my Prowin. Yeah. And you can buy the extended mags. You yep. can buy the standard length mags. Yep. You can buy different base plates for the mags. Yes. Again, it's just another part where 
because this is the M4 of pistols, there's a lot of options. You can use whatever is, you know, the cheapest are the WE magazines, I yep. believe. Yeah, they are pretty much. Uh, the best are the Pro-In magazines, or but they're BTC, also hard to find. if you want to spend that kind of money on plastic magazines that they only have 30 rounds for, but you can buy them. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. There's just a ton of different things. I like that... my metal ones because I don't like breaking stuff in plastic. Ugh, I'm a little scared. Yeah, dropping plastic magazines. Just like the W sketchy. plastic clock mags. Those were great. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's another thing. Is there's a bunch of different magazines for them. So and a bunch of different upgrades for your magazines as well. The bag is the magazine, the valve. You can change that to a high flow or low yep. flow. You can change that. Although I don't really recommend a high flow. Uh, it breaks your pistols kind of fast, like CO two. So. And it kind of messes assault. with your gas efficiency, depending that on too, your setup. But again, people love them for high FPS builds that want to get their 400 FPS out of a pistol. For I could see it being reason. useful for IPSC, but for field play, I don't really see the application. No, it's mostly for high FPS. And yeah, I but high understand. FPS could be kind of useful, again, for IPSC, if you're just trying to get your rounds to the target. It, it's more trouble than it was, honestly. But again, yeah. that's another aspect you can change out. You can, you change can do out, it if you want to. You can change out the gasket where the gas comes out that sits inside the, uh, yep. the gun itself. There's 3D printed the feed lips available. You can that buy you those can, as well. Yep. Yeah, so you don't have to fear dropping your magazines. You can just keep extra feed lips in your bag. They make them for Pro Wins. They make them for yep. uh, WEs. Uh, you can change the base place like he mentioned. You can change it to any color. They have all variety of different colors from orange all the way to blue. I mean, you can literally change all the colors out. If you have a specific belt color that you want to continue that kind of trend, you can switch that around as well. Um, we said a different magazines, Pro ones, BTCs, WE, KGL, they all fit across the board. Some people swear by the WE, some people love the TM stock ones. I haven't really noticed a difference. I just like, use the WEs because I'm a cheap bastard and I don't so want to do lose I. them. I mean, <laughs> just as good. And caps are rubbish. they're a little heavy, but you know doesn't doesn't bother me. Unless you run the box bank, you only need one, <laughs> so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, but the platform itself is fantastic. If you're looking for a reliable pistol that has a plethora of parts, high cap is literally the yep. best thing you can buy. Yeah. And it it's overrated, I know, but literally it's the best thing you can buy. Yeah, that, that's the thing, you know, a lot of people are going to comment on this video and say, oh, well, I don't like them because it's got X, Y, or Z. That's fine, you know, this is just our opinion. We're just presenting to you why we lots, personally... Lots of people like M9s. I personally hate the M9. I, sh I have one for airsoft and I shot the real steel. I don't like them either way. I hated it. Don't like it. But yeah. again, our personal opinion, whatever you want to use... You shot pretty well with the M9, though. Again, <laughs> I use pistols pretty often, so yeah. my muscle memory is there. I just... Didn't like the feel. Yeah. Didn't so, like it. Uh, that, that's the thing. There's a whole market of handguns yeah. for different types of hands and different type of, types of needs. I mean, I just did a video on the KWC 1911. If you just want to not spend a ton of money and have something that'll sit in your holster when you need it and not break when you don't, well, go with that. Yeah. If you want if you want a more refined, uh, custom build, build yourself a high kappa. Yep. If you like high kappas but you don't want to spend a ton of money, well, there's the there's other options. There's tons of options out there. And even if you want a flashy high cap, but you don't have the money to spend it outright, an armor works is right there for you. If you like the IPSC, they have the new wind velocity that looks much like this or has pre-drilled holes. All you got to do is just buy the mount and you're good yep. to go. So, I mean, there's tons and tons of options. Mm -hmm. You can buy anything that your heart desires for the high cap. Exactly. And that is Except why... Except for skill. Game. That doesn't come with it. No, it does not. <laughs> but that's why the high cap is the M4 of pistols. Yeah. All right, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like and the rating down below. Comment on what your favorite pistol is. But this was Speed Sim. My name is Andre. I'm E-House. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace.